Hello, everybody, and I guess happy Friday. You know, I normally always say TGIF, but, you know, I guess that's like if you work a nine to five. So TGIF, if you work a nine to five and if you work a job that like has different um, has different working hours, you know, hopefully it's a beautiful day outside. It's like 80 degrees. Ain't that rare in March? But welcome back to the Indie Spotlight. And we're having two special guests on tonight. First up, we will be having Milani. Hey! And their second guest is Killer Goon Gang, a.k.a. Kells. Um, Milani, if you're ready to start your um, your interview with me, just let me know and I'll start it. If you need a couple more minutes, no. Okay, it's like ready to start. Hey. I think I I think I Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hey, how you doing, girl? Oh, um, I, <laughs> I seen you. Uh, I seen a few of your performances that I really liked. And oh, um, yeah, <laughs> I seen them. Yeah, you're yeah, hearing y'all. Like, uh, <laughs> like, you fun. were just in Atlanta, right? Um, yeah, I just got back from Atlanta on Monday. Oh, wow. I had a couple performances down there, a couple of radio interviews, uh, the afternoon track. Uh, it was pretty lit, like, the whole time. <laughs> I do not want to come back. Yeah, wow, you said you wanted to stay on your long time. Huh? <laughs> I should have stayed. I'm thinking about packing up my things and moving, to be honest. Like, I'm not even going to care about that. Wow. Yeah. Why are you thinking about relocating? I had a performance every night. He's wow. OSS. I love OSS too. Um, so I wanted to ask, uh, how did you like? So how wanted to ask how like how did you come up with your name? Or is that your real name? Um, I'm gonna just switch. Is this this Uh, no, that's not my real name. It's my stage name. And okay. Um, I actually wanted to name my daughter today. And, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, the dad and I didn't really agree on it, so I just <laughs> used it as my artist name. All right, I like that. I like that. I yeah, know, like, so. <laughs> names you to put in your kids. No, no, that's, I like it. It's, yeah, it's I mean, even though, name. like, me, I'm popping period, but I just wanted to, like, switch it up and, like, not just, like, just, like, a whole brand new slate for myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, what area, in what area are you from? I think you're, you're from Philly, right? Yeah, I'm from Philly, North Philadelphia. Um, I grew up on 22nd and Lehigh. I lived in that area until I was like 17 or 18 and started like, you know, venturing out and seeing the world for myself. Okay. And um, so what, like, well, so what inspired you? Like, when did you start, uh, when did you start like your rap career and like what inspired you to do it? Um, I started my rap career like right in the middle of the pandemic, like right at the beginning of the pandemic last year. Um, I started going public and I started pushing myself um, on Instagram and started a YouTube channel, uh, put out my first single and um, started taking myself serious like literally last year. But um, I always wanted to do music and I always knew that I was very talented at it. However, uh, always listen to I had met, met respect for my parents. And, like, that just wasn't an option. Like, so I had to go to school and, like, do all the things that my parents wanted me to do. And I did. But I just feel like, you know, this is where I belong. Like, you know. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so much fun. It does not even seem like work all the time. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, And what type, so I want to ask, like, what type of, what type of, like, music or what type of music do you make? And, yeah, like, what type of music, what kind of rap do you make or what kind of music do you make? Because, you know, you are a musician. So. I am a musician. Um, mm -hmm. I like to make, I, I would say I make vibes more so, like, upbeat yeah. music, uh, happy music, mm -hmm. uh, music mm -hmm. that make you feel good when you, you know, turn up music. And I've been tapping mm -hmm. into, like, you know, my emotional side. I'm about to drop a mixtape. Um, in like a couple weeks, if you're in Philly, I'm having a, a mixtape release, you should pull up. Um, and it's just like a bunch of different, all types of songs, like just vibes. Like that's why I, I don't want to put myself in one category and just be like this hard mm -hmm. rapper or anything like that. Like, you know, so I would just say mm -hmm. like upbeat, up tempo music that you can have a good time, uh, listening to. Oh, I don't know. That's good. <laughs> Um, 
do you have any um are you are you venturing into any other like like parts of your career such as like maybe like modeling producing or or um like right i know you i know you write your own rhymes and stuff like that i mean yeah. but like just like other things like other um parts no of actually as of now i'm just pretty like focused on you know developing mm -hmm. uh, as a lyricist um and yeah. flourishing and that area, yeah. of course, like I had, I tap into the acting with the videos and stuff like that. But I haven't had any opportunities, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, awesome. I mean, if an opportunity arises, you know, I will turn on my acting head real quick. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, uh, I am pretty interested in like making beats and like engineering, like, you know, more behind the scenes stuff. I've been mm -hmm. tapping in with that. Um, like on my own free time, I'm thankful to have access to a studio where I can practice and like, you know, really, 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 you know, tweak it out and just see where it, where it takes me. Sure. No, that's that's good. Um, uh, I wanted to also ask, um, so um, where can people, like, find all of like, your products? And, like, where can people, like, what social media platforms? Because I notice, like, a lot of people, they're normally familiar with a certain amount of them when it comes to streaming platforms and media platforms. So I just wanted to to, to hear you talk a little bit about that. Okay. Um, any of like my music that I release, um, and like you can probably pull it up on Instagram behind like one of your reels or something like that. It's probably it's on Apple Music, Spotify, Title, um, like T Deezer, um, SoundCloud. Sometimes I might go to extra mile, upload it on SoundCloud. I use, of course, all of my visuals will be on YouTube on my YouTube channel. Um, and then Instagram, you know, but I think it's like 16 okay. or 17 different stores that, that my music gets released to. Um, but sure. like the most popular ones, obviously, are the ones that I promote, like Apple Music, Google Play, uh, Tidal, Spotify, you know, those things like that. Right, right. Um, cause I, like, I'm, when I normally think of like, when everybody says like their stuff is on digital, like digital streaming platforms, I normally think about, first one comes to mind is normally Spotify cause it's widely talked about. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, like Spotify, iTunes, probably Deezer and some other things, but the other places like iHeartRadio and Pandora and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know like where that comes in in it, but okay. Yeah. I think, like, whenever I am releasing my music or any artist, you can pay, like, a little extra to have, like, your music on a, a few different extra platforms, you know. But naturally, as the independent artist, you always have your money wrapped up in so much. So it's just like, all right, I'm already paying for the membership. I'm just releasing it to whatever. And then, you know, cross my fingers. Okay. Um, so I also wanted to ask, um, what is the best advice you would, you would give to like a person that's like an up and coming artist or like a up and coming rapper or just like someone that wants to start? Um, the best advice that I would give would just like, it gets tough. It's not easy. It's not easy at all to be an artist. We have so many opinions and so many expectations that people expect you to meet. Um, I would mm. just say, do, do, do move at the pace that you feel comfortable with moving all right and mm -hmm. be true to you like so many people would you don't know how, how many like so many people have opinions you know what i'm saying and <laughs> yeah, opinions yeah. are definitely like okay if they're valid i'm gonna take that as constructive criticism but like sometimes people hear me a female rapper and then it's like all right they they cardi b is the hottest female rapper so it's like oh you need to be more like cardi b and it's like no like you know i'm trying to be more like me so the most the, right. the, the most that i would say is stay true to yourself you know move at a pace that you feel comfortable with and and the rest of all in place. Right. And I and I'm glad like that's a that's good. That's um like good advice because that is true. Like with like music it always like I think like music is like it doesn't have uh what is it like? It's always like floating with like different times and people are doing different things for, you know, I guess to be visible. I mm -hmm. guess doing things to be visible. You know, but that's good. You should stay true to how you sound and, and true to your style and move at your own pace. Right. You know, so you don't feel overwhelmed because it can be really, it can be stressful trying to keep up with that demand, to keep up with a demand. 
Um, how was uh? I did also see you at like um the Glock Aware Awards. How did how did that go? That went very well. Oh my goodness, the show was so lit. Um, <laughs> I was one of the um you know guest uh performances of the night, mm -hmm. and I I think that might have been like the biggest crowd that I ever performed in front of. And the oh, energy wow. in the in the room was so high. Well, like at that point, I want to say because I did a few more things after that. But the mm -hmm. energy in the room was so high, and I was able to like you know keep that momentum from the moment that I walked on stage until the moment that I walked off, and it just felt so good. And I just felt like so good. Mm -hmm. um, it was also a lot of people in the building that I had an opportunity to network with, so I could I got to meet like some new people, and you know possibly mm -hmm. some new work or projects that could develop. Yeah. Like um, so I was just like most most importantly more thankful to be there and like a guest mm -hmm. performance like that was yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's good yeah that's good. um that you need that we we have to keep like doing events like that so that everybody can collaborate network and talk to each other and work with each other more it needs to be a more welcoming. It needs to be a more welcoming thing right. you know because I know it's like when people get to a certain extent like you hardly see like people who started here and stuff like that. And they're somewhere else. And there's still a lot of people doing their thing here. Yeah. So, that's, that's, good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I uh, mean, do you have, I would say it's kind of iffy, like me just being in the industry a little bit, like not, not long, you know, and I, I'm mm -hmm. where I'm at today. I would say mainly just being me got me here, you know, mm -hmm. but like I do meet people and I'm like, uh, they own some shit. Like why they acting like that? So I can I, I can't get when people be like, oh, Philly be on some shit, you know, especially with me now venturing out to other cities and going to other states. And it's like, it's not that. So I don't know. Like, I don't know. But I love Philly. I'm, I, I would never give up on my city. So um, where what other places have you been? Uh, so what other places have you performed in? I know you said you did. You, you went to Atlanta for a while. I, I just came back from Atlanta and I frequent Baltimore a lot. Um, Essex, Maryland. Yep. Um, I'm t like pretty tired. Shout out to DJ Duke. Um, if he's had in, but he's like one of the hottest DJs come down here. He has like an artist showcase indie showcase night. Um, with CME, Kravitz, uh, the CME Morning Show, and Son of the Two and Five. Shout out to them too. Um, and it's very lit. And I come down here as a guest uh performance as well. I try to go down here at least twice a month. Um, since I've mm -hmm. gained like a strong following out there as well, so um, yeah, and it's awesome. never there. like from the mo from the moment I went like out there, you know what I'm saying? It's so many me connections, it's easy for me to get into so many doors. Like, you know, I mean, I would say it's the same year though too. I don't know, like I don't know. It's just like I don't know. So yeah. Um, do you okay? Do you have any like products or merchandise? And so I know your your merchandise is your music. Mm -hmm. uh, when people come in and 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 do and look at and go on your Spotify and stuff like that, but like products, do you have any like products or merch? No, for I sale? do not. Um, I've been okay. really, really, really pondering a lot about merch and what I wanna like. I'm thinking about how I wanna deliver it and what I wanna actually present because so much yeah. like you know it's so much like. T-shirts, and you know, like what's gonna, what's so special about my T-shirt that's gonna make me excited. So I haven't been quick to jump out with the merch yet because I definitely want it to be something that's gonna be like all oh, different, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I definitely, you know. I like that. Like you want to take time to develop what you yeah, want with what, what your you vision, know? what you see as your merch. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, do you have any um do you have any up and coming like performances, whether they're like via the web or they're like live or anything like that where people can see you? Um, I'll be popping out um, next Saturday, um for a mixtape release party, uh hosted by Jay Free Nancy. Uh, I'll be a guest thing there. Um, April the 6th, I'll be at 312 uh, Lounge doing a showcase there. Those are like my own. Is that Atlanta? I'm sorry. What did you say? 312? Where is that? 312 Lounge. That's on 3rd and Market here in Philly. Okay. April the okay. 6th, I'll be there. April. Um, So, yeah, those are like the only two performances that I have booked as of now. Oh, and what was the one before that? I'm sorry, I didn't hear. On the 3rd. 
I'll be um, a guest appearance in the mixtape release party for DJ Freak Nancy. He just released like a, a indie mixtape for like a bunch of upcoming artists in Philly. Um, so I'll be popping out here as a guest performance as well. Awesome. Where, where is that at? Um, that's a secret location. Um, so the oh, location okay, hasn't right. been disclosed yet. Um, okay. So I don't. I haven't. I'll leave it like that. Yet. Um, okay. But my, my, <laughs> okay. the one that I'm doing on the sixth. That's at three twelve mm -hmm. on market. Okay. Third in market. Um, hosted by DJ Shot. And shout out to DJ Shot. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll be there if, if anybody who's watching or you know you guys want to pull up and come see me live, then I'll definitely be there. Awesome. That's okay. Um, so I'm going to also I normally ask all artists of. Uh, so due to COVID nineteen shutdowns, where do you see the future of live music, like going, like? Because that's like one of the biggest things like that's with being an artist is able to be going out to, to, to do perform. a lot of things. Because um, yeah. you're right about that. And I feel like for me personally, like you can listen to my music all day, but if you come to one of my shows, like it's it's way different, you know. But I see mm -hmm. live performances even gearing more to a virtual thing or like mm -hmm. a, like a pull up situation like you know like pulling movies or something like that like maybe a big thing yeah it's like a pull-up situation so that everyone can yeah yeah distance but i do feel like it's too much money and live performances and stuff like that for them just to not exist anymore like yeah yeah um i don't know exactly where i see like the i, I know that like I, I guess everyone has to they have to get everybody to a point where at least mostly everybody is vaccinated in order to open up things. Because I just imagine like when everything does actually officially open up, it's going to be like all those like events you're doing and everything like that, it's probably going to be like packed to the wall. It's going to be like packed yeah, to the wall. Yeah, it is. It's, and it's, just going, it's just going to defeat the whole purpose of like, you know, COVID. So, right. I mean, right. I'm, right. I don't know. I, I do hope yeah. that things can, you know, get back to normal quickly because yeah. I'm dying to get right. out there and like just burn down different mm -hmm. stages and just like showcase my talents to the world like you know sure hopefully like when everything I know like when everything comes back I don't know when everything will come back but it'll be a lot of I, I, it'll be a real real like thriving thing because nobody has really been I mean, people have been out to see live performances. Don't get me wrong, but like yeah. when it's gonna feel like when they're gonna feel like really, really, really comfortable, it's gonna be like it's probably gonna be it's really, gonna really be amazing. Crazy. That's when I'm gonna start you know, going. To <laughs> I agree. I, I mean, even though like you know, like I said, I'm just getting started. I'm very thankful for all all the people who tap in with me and support me and everything like that. And I know that they all can't wait so we can all get together and turn up live. Okay? And yeah. I can't wait either. So yeah. Yeah. What so I want to also ask what artists and bands have you worked with or or that you are working with unless this is like um like a like a a, a disclosed thing I'm not trying to ask disclosed questions no 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 you're good um okay. in the past um I did a collab with uh Figure Gang that's like my biggest collab ever uh with Figure who was Gang. it with Figure Gang Fig and Figure Gang University. Um, mac and cheese sponsored the video and everything like that. Um, I've also worked with Uptown Geo. I have a track with him. Um, it should okay. be out on all platforms. It's called Automatic. <laughs> I've also collabed with a guy named Chef. His name is The Real Work Chef. We have a, a song out on all platforms called Cuff It. Um, okay. And uh, I work, I come to PME, PME Studios. Um, to have like all of my music recorded, mixed, mastered. Um, okay. I do like a lot of my videos and photo shoots and stuff here too. Um, currently where I am right now. Um, okay. Oh, okay. You're done. so you're working right. So you're you're in the middle of something right now. So you just took, yeah, went so to the I'm side. Yeah. Like, you know, okay. it's a it's a it's a that's, that's studio, cool. So where is the studio? The studio is um off of Air like Air Mango and Tayoga. It's like a big studio space. Uh, we have a space oh, wow. here called PME Studios. Uh, we, mm -hmm. we record, we do photography, uh, mix, master, you know, might be able to help with like some lyrics and, you know, lyrical exercise and stuff like that. You know, just everybody win. Um, 
Who do? But yeah, we all have worked with each other, obviously, because we know each other. Um, yeah, and that's that. I have some projects that um, I'm working on with other people, and they'll cool. be out soon. So, who does your videos, your music videos? Um, I have, like just hired people to word them out. You hired different people, okay? Yeah, so it's not like one particular person. I do like to venture out on that aspect because, I, like, that opens up different doors to meet new people. Da da da. You know, um, yeah. but my last video was shot by Trey Um, he was okay. dope as hell. And my first, my my number one, his single "Expensive Smoke." <laughs> that was shot by um Swag Swag Podcast. Okay, okay. So, if you so if you had a shot to work with any mainstream artist, who like who with any mainstream artist or producer or brand, who who do you think you would work with? Um, and oh, I want to work with. That's a, nobody. Here I'm like, I got what it is going. I know I got. Um, nobody never asked me. I do not know. I would say okay. Um, uh, for videos, Ben Mark is like shooting everybody videos right now, and they've been dope as fuck. I would like them to like shoot one of my videos. Um, okay. For artists, artists that's out right now, I would like to do, maybe do a song with Money Bag Yo. And, okay. And um, producers, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if he's the producers like that. I'm going to just go with, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, but, I mean, like, but oh, I think, oh, like, oh, um. I would want to work with Timberland. Timberland. Okay. I feel like we would do something dope together. Timberland or, like, Missy Elliott. Or, mm -hmm. like, I feel like we would do a dope-ass, like, song together. Yeah. I think that, I think that's the, uh. uh I think you would be in really, really good hands with that. Yeah. And uh, the the collaboration, like with uh, you said, you would like to collaborate, like with Money Bag Yo. I think that was that's good also. Oh, and the person you said you would want to do the, the, I think that's yeah, that would be really that would be good. I could see like that happening. Um, and you said you also would want to do your video with uh, with you said Big Mark Ben Ben B N Mark. Oh Ben Ben Mark. Okay. He's been shooting like a lot of the like almost every whoever's hot out right now artist video. Okay. You see, and they've been on point, and this is because of him. Obviously, we've been yeah. able to stay captivated throughout the whole video. So, um, yeah. Oh wow! I would like to work with. Him. Okay. <laughs> good, yeah. good. That's cool. That's good. Um, what else I wanted to ask? Uh, how um. What did I want to ask? Oh, yeah. So I wanted to ask again about, like, Spotify. How do people, how do, because I haven't, I, I'm still trying to work like Spotify. So do you have to get, like, a monthly subscription and then all the music is you get, or? Um, with Spotify, you can have, like, a free, I don't, I, like, I don't think you have to sign up for Spotify in order to listen to people's music. But when you okay. sign up and you do get a subscription, I think you have more access to, like, certain things. Oh, yeah. You know, like, um, yeah. maybe if I, like, I only have singles out right now. But if I release, okay. it, like, a collective of music, like an album or an EP or something like that, I think you will have access to, like, the whole thing opposed to just, like, the number one leading single off of it project okay if i'm not mistaken okay um i just I always forget that like instagram live only lets you like <laughs> only let you record an hour at a time okay so um so my last <laughs> so my last question before i like like wrap everything up um was you can tell everyone like where i wanted you to tell everyone again like where they can find you just in case new people like joined because okay. I'll be, I forget. Like, I have to ask somebody to tell me two or three, three times. Right. So I can understand. Um, <laughs> so you can find me at Milani, M I L I N I, in real life on all platforms YouTube, uh, YouTube, most importantly. And make sure you always have this in my video. Here you um, Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, same handle. Um, I also have the same logo that you see on the screen right now. Um, I try to, you know, keep it on all different platforms so that you can find me easier. So, again, Milani, M-I-L-I-N-I, in real life. Milani in real life on all plates. Okay. So, like this, 
right? Yeah. I'm trying to put, how do I pin it? I'm trying to pin that. Yeah, I don't even know it. how to pin it. Most of the time, if you just type in Milani, it'll pop. Like most of the time, if you just type in Milani, it'll pop up. Like you don't even have to get to the to the in real life no more. So you know, okay. You know, like, <laughs> you know. Okay. Um. So, uh, what is so so far? I've never I've never been like one of like a. Have you ever been on a tour? That was like the last question I wanted to ask. No, I haven't been on a tour. Um, okay, but you have been a couple places. Yeah, but I usually go to like hit one city up at a time, and then do as many as many shows as I can do in that city. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily call that a tour because mm -hmm. you hit like different cities in the tour. No, I. Have Yeah, yeah, to do a tour. Like, and then I can ask like questions about how, how you do that because like I just, I'm just really curious about how like how that is, especially like for like an a, a independent artist and an artist coming out. Like, cause I just want to know what it's like so that like people can know what it's like. <laughs> I think it's important well, for me. Like, just getting any of the the bookings that I've been getting lately, it it usually starts from someone at a show mm -hmm. that I've, I've mm -hmm. performed at, and it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. you are so <laughs> I would love to come to this place, and it always is like that. Once I leave one show, or I go do one show, for sure, my next book in is in that building. It's always like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what place were you at in Atlanta? What was the name of the, the, the club? Um, I performed at the Artesian uh, Gallery. Okay. And I performed at the Cosmo Cosmopolitan, I want to say, Bar and Grill. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think I did one, two. And I also did the, um, I said the afternoon track, um, Holly Unique Radio. Okay. I had an interview with them. Um, and then okay. my last show was um, Who's Hot? It was, I forget the name of the place. Uh, I forget the name okay. of the place, but it's like, really, it's like the ACL's next to blow venue or whatever. It was really lit in there, too, so, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. And I'm sure the weather was really good, huh? Actually, the weather was exactly like how it was here. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, like, it was so different. It, was <laughs> it wasn't like, real hard. I was so upset. I'm like, oh, I'm going to bring this shirt. I'm here. I'm like, 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 I'm just know to get to to go to Milani in real life on all platforms. That's YouTube, Faith. You have a Facebook too. I do. Yeah. Okay, so that's YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, Facebook Instagram, 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 all that. Instagram, all that. <laughs> all that. <good. laughs> <laughs> well, it was very good. <laughs> so it was very good talking to you. Hopefully, I will be talking to you again um, in the near future. Yeah. And um, thank you for <laughs> thank you for your time, and thank you for taking out time to do this with me. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you today, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to plant for promote myself. And <laughs> if you want to hit me up anytime, we can always chat. Thank you. Okay. I'll I'll talk Bye. to you soon. Bye. Okay, so we just wrapped up our interview with Milani, Milani in real life. Um, it went very well. So now I'm going to welcome um, Kel to the screen right here to invite you. Okay, so hopefully, if you're not ready, you can just decline in and I'll just redo it with you in another couple of minutes. Hola, how are you? Hi. Hey, what's up? Um, uh, so, how, first of all, how's your day? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm at the shop. You know. That's what I was about to say. It looks like you're at the shop. It looks like you're working. Yeah, I'm at home. Business. Yeah, it's like the sign of like somebody like having like your own, when you have like your own business or your own shop, it's kind of like you're like doing this stuff 24-7. 
Yeah, seven days a week, no days. It's that off. level of dedication. <laughs> it's that level of dedication. Um, okay, so what? So tell me, like your, the like, tell me your name again, because I'm like, uh, well, my name is Mikel. Let's 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 start like that. My name is Mikel. Everybody know me as Kel. You know okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Because I don't want to walk around tell, calling you something different. Um. So how did you come? You how did you come up with your name? Because it's just your nickname, right? Because your name is Mikel, right? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. I mean, I mean, so, my, and... name, my name come from music. Like my brother actually put me my name. Oh. Okay. That was my was... rap brother. I was about to say, I actually looked on your page because I actually look at people's pages and look through their pages and I would see you like, I seen you busting like a little, for like a, a nice a freestyle. I was like, oh, okay, great. So, um, what area are you from? North Philly. North Philly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what inspired you to <laughs> what inspired you, what inspired you to uh, uh what inspired you to make your first? I'm going to ask you what inspired you to start rapping first. Um, oh, well, actually, for years, uh, my brothers and them was trying to get me to do music, I would never really do it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I had moved one of my little brothers in with me, and being around him so much, he kind of okay, he kind of got me hooked on the music, and he actually taught me how to write. Okay. Right. Awesome. Um, so, and then what inspired you to start your company, like your clothing company? So tell me about that. All right. Well, that was more so inspired by um, my children, like, and, and it being a time for me to change my life because, again, I was getting older. So, you know, music is a love. Music has never really paid bills at home, so... You know what I mean? Sure. I had to actually build something that could take care of my children now and after. Okay. How long have you had your clothing company? Um, since 2019. I started this one. My first clothing company since 2012. Oh, okay. So do both of those brands of clothes is being sold or you stopped the first one and now you're doing the second one? No, I actually have multiple brands. Okay. But this this one here is like just my main now. Okay, so what is the name of like the name of your main brand and it's, what type of style? Okay, the name of the main brand is um Tazvu Motivisi. I'm sorry, I did not get that. <laughs> okay. it, it's Kazvu Motivisi. Motivisi. Okay. Kazmu Motivisi. Yes. Oh, all right. And it means Growth mindset. Is that um, is that uh, Spanish, Mandarin, Chinese, no, it's, or it's is actually that, uh, Estonian? Estonian. Okay. Cool. Um, and tell me, what type of style is like your main brand, the Cosmo Moto Um, it's just different. It's it's just okay. different. Like like I, I I touch a little bit of everything. Like. Um, male and female, like I do every item from socks to t-shirts to sweatsuits to cat suits to biker shorts to booty shorts to yoga sets. Um, okay, I now wait a minute. Let me check you. You said booty shorts, right? Yes. yes. Okay, and it's real close to booty weather. Yes. So, what size do your booty shorts go into? Because you know some people got a whole lot of booty to I hold, mean, and some of them no. They, they come small, medium, large, extra large. You know they. They go up. Okay, so I'm asking because I was like, okay, cool, because I'm like plus size, and I was like, okay, so I'm just curious about that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, where can people? Uh, where do you where do you sell your merch at? Um, I actually sell my merch out of my store. Okay, out of your store. Yeah. Um, where's your store located at? My store is located at 1520 West Ontario Street. Okay. And in the name of your store, is that also the name of your brand, Cosmo Motivisi? No, no, the store is called Sydney Ham Street Boutique. Sydney Ham. Sydney Ham. S Y D E. Sydney Ham. Okay. Street Boutique. Sydney Ham. Yeah. 
Street Boutique. Okay, no, Sydney Am Street Boutique. Okay, and you said it's at 15 what? 20 West Ontario. 1520 West Ontario Street? Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I see I see we got my good friend, the council member, Kenyatta Johnson. That's a good friend of mine. Yes. Okay. So hello. Hello, Kenyatta. Um, I know he does a lot for like people in the neighborhood and like gun yeah. violence and stuff because that plagues Philly really, yeah. really bad. Yeah. And if um any if anybody can do anything that can stop kids and, and young people away from the streets, that's the best thing. And that's what you're doing. You're starting a you have a clothing line. So that's really good. Oh, absolutely. And you also was a rapper. So tell me about like do you have like mixtapes or do you have like um, your music out on all yes, platforms? I have, I have um I have music on all platforms as well. Um mm -hmm. Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora. Um I actually have a song that they're really streaming extremely well right now, which is called Pray For Me. It's like a great song for, you know what I'm saying, you know, for the okay. time of what's going on now. Okay, so it's called, it's okay, so you, you're you streaming on all platforms, so can you give me, can you talk about like, um, so you're on Facebook, IG, YouTube, and Spotify? Uh, yeah, I actually have my own YouTube channel. I have a um, few videos I dropped within the last couple of um, I actually just dropped the video, I want to say like five days ago, to the intro of the new mixtape that I'm working on called Inner Demons. I just dropped the intro video. Okay, what name do people look up on Spotify when they're going to look for music? Because I was trying to... They, they look up Killer Kel, K-I-L-L-A-K-E-L. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's where they would look for everything at. And I normally try to, like, when I interview people, I normally try to make that clear so that they know where to find it at. We live in, like, such an instant gratification, internet-plagued app world that if people don't find your music in one click, they'll literally, like, stop. They're like, oh, it's not that easy? Okay, I'm stopping. Like, Well, see, <laughs> for me, for me and music, like, like I have, I have a legendary stint when it comes to Philly. You know what I'm saying? For music, like, okay. I, have, I have over 20 years, and I've probably worked with... Wow. Almost every artist from E Ness, Creed Fort, um, Kaboom, Frank with the Grip is Gone, NH, um, Young Todd, Carlson, RJ Payne, like every, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So no, I can tell like when I was like, okay, cool, like the, like you um you're doing like your entrepreneur thing and then I listen to the and then I listen to the music and I can tell like if somebody's been doing it for a while if they haven't been doing it for a while. And I can hear that you have been doing it for a while. <laughs> for a while. You know. <laughs> um what well, so what is the best advice you would give like an up and coming artist or rapper or somebody that's starting to do this? Um the the number one advice I would give is see I have a young son that does music. Right. Oh okay. Right. Here. What's your son's artist name? What's his name? Um, FDR Spaz. FDR Spaz. Okay. S P A Z Z. Um, like he's twenty three, so you know what I'm saying. He he's he's amazing. Like I'm kind of handing the tools down. Like, I'm in transition. But I would tell all young artists like to like never quit. Um, do as much as you can to keep content into your music and don't really concentrate on freestyles as much as you are on songs. Songs get you mm. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so that's some good advice. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I had to just plug my, my phone in. Okay, so so make sure that they like focus on their songs. Yeah, and make stuff. Sure, make sure that you're writing good quality songs. Like, not not the freestyles. Freestyles are good, you know what I'm saying? But songs, songs can be paid. Okay. Like and, and, you, and you learn that industry wise because even if you never make it as a mainstream artist, you can always get a big check to be a writer somewhere. That's good. good. That's good advice. Um, uh, do you have any so? Um, 
What am I trying to say? So do you have an Instagram store where you sell your stuff at too? Or um, um no, your... I just I just really promote from my, my two Instagram pages, which is the clothing page and my regular page. Um everything I do is really in store. Like people DM me from my Instagram or they call my mm -hmm. phone, you know what I'm saying? Like when I first opened my store Thank last you. year, I actually the store's near Temple Hospital. So I stood out here for like two weeks before the grand opening. And every car, we stopped every car and gave every car flyers and business cards. Great. That's so, good. So which maybe, you know what I'm saying, they carry a little farther. And then from people seeing the work and the people who I've been working with, you know what I'm saying, at the moment, like, you know, some people may have seen some of the stuff, like, you know what I'm saying, I just did some stuff for Jake Kiss and some stuff for Young Jack and all of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I've done. I just did some stuff for, you know what I mean? Benny the Butcher, uh, Murder oh, Moose, okay. Crack, Jim Jones, Uncle D, Cameron, uh, Nisa, and how much uh, are those a piece? Method Man, um, Brillo, like, so, like they they all they all contact us through music, through um, Ines. He's a very close friend of mine as well. And my partner is Get Your Weight Up Fine. He's a celebrity party promoter, so he's in, in tune with a lot of people, so, you know what I'm saying? People so, uh, I'm sorry. Um, so, how much are your t-shirts? The t-shirts with the, with the you know, the uh, the faces on so, them? Uh, well, we, we, we really do the faces on more sweatshirts and hoodies because I add paints to them, like how you see the paints as well. Like, I yeah, yeah, you know, what I mean, place the face on there. So, I do faces, paints, everything on them. We charge $60 for sweatshirts, $75 for the hoodies. Okay, do you also do t shirts too? Uh, yeah, yeah, but the t shirts, okay. I, I wouldn't probably recommend paint as much. I, I can okay. do the faces, but you know, the paint would bleed through so. So, um, I'm somehow, somehow, um, I'm gonna have to like, I guess like put my mask on maybe one day and like <laughs> and come there, because like I'm no like I'm really trying to, uh, I haven't did it yet, but I'm like trying to like find out other people's brands and clothes they're wearing and okay. if they would like for me to wear them okay. or talk about them. Okay. No, we listen, listen. We can definitely talk, and I can definitely um send some stuff your wife in charge. And okay. Say, because again, awesome. again with this business, like I say, I. Do, a lot of the people that I do work for, you know what I'm saying, as far as celebrity wise, like in the beginning, they all start free of charge. You know what I'm saying? Like it's mm -hmm. it's promotion. It's promotion for me. It's promotion for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are what I call walking billboard. Anytime you have something on a fly, every time somebody sees you, they ask you where you got that from. That's a potential customer for me. Sure. Sure. It all it all circles back and plus I I've never like I always wanted to, but I've never like I'm I want to like getting to like uh to modeling. Okay. Um so I, I do appreciate that. And um I try to like make an inter I try to make like an interview like this so that everybody can still listen to like that our city still has like people that are like OGs and they're legendary and they're they're coming up and stuff like that. And they and I feel like they have support but they don't have as much support as they should have. I mean, you know? I mean, you know, some, I, I think some, like, you know, mm, I hate to say some of the things, but, but to be honest, like, uh, you know, we come from, a, like, a crab barrel city, you know what I'm saying, and people hate to see people get out because they're afraid they won't come back for them, you know what I'm saying, mm. so, like, I've, I've probably touched a lot of artist brands, like, you know what I'm saying, that's major, mm -hmm. like, like that when you go research from this, you got the blue check next to their name and all that, from, mm -hmm. from I Am Tammy Jane to Elliot Ness to RJ Payne, you know, RJ Payne got one of the biggest buzz right now, you know what I'm saying, I create almost all his merchandise. Awesome. From his so original nice. merchandise you know what I'm saying, like, you know, spill music group, all their merchandise, Stratulina, um, like, you know, my my hands touch almost everybody, like, because, again, I, I'm one of the elders, so, you know what I mean, I believe in the give back, you know what I mean, because it ain't about one of us, one of us can go on the door, right, and they can close the door on one fast, but when it's 500 of us going in the door, it's hard to shut the door. 
I agree. Um, do you have any like so? Do you have any performances or coming up or your or collaborations? Actually, like, you know, I have more. Um, I, I'm actually really locked in in so many video shoots. Like I actually got a video shoot this Sunday. I have one next Wednesday, and I have one the following Sunday. Like I've been so busy, like uh, you know, cooking up this new project. Like so, and I mean every song that I do. I, I never release a song without a visual. Okay. So so I'm real big on visuals and, and then everything is out of pocket for me. Like I don't have no management, I don't have no team behind me. I pay for everything myself. It's always been that my whole life. Oh, oh, oh wow. So when you say that you're doing a lot of you're on a lot of you have a lot of shoots, does it mean like you're the main clothing person for the video shoot or are you you're shooting no, the video no, I'm, I'm i'm recording a lot of new music videos like i said i just dropped oh video. okay I okay dropped the video five days ago but i'm in the studio almost every other day as well like my son is in the studio every day so i have a lot of shoots of mine because again like mm -hmm. i said i'm in transition to passing the torch you know what i'm saying but I wanted him to create his own stand first. Mm -hmm. Like, because my name is my name, I never wanted him to live in my shadow and people to recognize him for being my son. I wanted people to recognize him for him. And then when they get to meet him, it's like, oh, that's your dad? Now it's a plus. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's good. Does your son have any music that is on Spotify or out anywhere? He's, he's on every platform. He actually just dropped the EP and the LP last year, and it, he just dropped about five singles in, like, the first two weeks. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's cool. Okay. Um, and what is his name again, like, his artist name, so that I can, like, it's, understand, it's, like... It's FDR. S -P FDR? Yeah, FDR, S-P-A-C-Z. Okay. So FDR Spaz. Okay, yeah. so that's like on all platforms. Yeah, cool. All platforms. Yeah, um, YouTube channels, on everything. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so actually, listen, this this is the crazy part. Like you, you remember when I tapped into the last interview, and um, you know what I mean? I was speaking. I was speaking to uh the young lady that you were interviewing. You were speaking uh, to Milani? Yeah, I right, thought you were speaking right, to me. Right, listen, I'm about to put you on though. Like when. When the flyer went up, right, uh, my son that does the music, his mother lives in Atlanta. So she called me. And she had just had Milani down there with her because, you know, she was just down there the whole weekend. Oh, okay. So she called awesome. me and she was like, you know the young lady? And I'm like, no, I don't even know the young lady. But once my baby mom let me know who she was, I called her myself. I reached out to her myself about the merchandise as well. You know what I'm saying? Because I let her know what I did. And I was like, you know what I mean? I just wanted to touch base with her before the interview. You know what I'm saying? So she would be that's aware to what I had going on. Look, look. One, yeah. One of my amazing, that's my engineer right there. Like, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah that, that's, um, that's, that's who records me when I go to the studio. Yeah, I go to his studio. What studio do you go to? Um, it, It's actually a good friend of mine. His name is Mont. You know what I'm saying? It's Big Mike mm -hmm. Studios. Like, he records a lot of artists from Leek Moss to Bogart to Press Play Naka to, you know what I'm saying? He recorded some of the best in Philly. Awesome. Yeah, so I go so, to him I... and I go to one mm -hmm. other guy. His name is Nightmare. You know what I'm saying? He's he's amazing. He actually records Rico Havoc and all of them. So those are my two engineers. So if you, I know you've already worked with a lot of mainstream artists, but, or, but if you had the chance to work with a mainstream artist or a production or like just somebody that you want to work with, who would you work with? Well, right now, I feel like it's a toss up between three artists that really buzzing, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And that's uh, Lil Dirk. Mm -hmm. Little baby and Cardi. Okay. I, th okay. I think I think the three of them are buzzing extremely well. So any one of them, it would be a classic. That you would do it. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else I want to ask. Do you have so right now? Do you have any um 
Are is your is your clothes in any music videos right now that yes. like people could could go look at? Um, I I do everything in my clothes. Like I make merchandise actually to go with every song that I create. So like, is there anybody have a, any other artists that right. have your clothes right. in their video? Uh, my son has it in his videos. Leek Moss has it in his videos. Um. RJ Payne in multiple mm -hmm. videos, Facial to Fever, um, Tammy Jean. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. I mean, those I can think of right off hand. Okay, yes. that's fine. Um, so um, it's it's like an interesting um, it's like an interesting conversation to have because like you're being. You're being an entrepreneur at the same time. Too raw for the having a you just tapped in, big star. Oh, your your friend just tapped in. You no, said that's big star. That's the legendary DVD king from Too Raw for the Streets. He just tapped in. Oh, okay, it's awesome. Good. So I'm glad, like, um, because this is what we're here. This is what we're here to do. We're here to expose everyone that's in this area and like, what they like, do. And like, if if you, if you see if you see that name at the bottom, which is Raw Sports Films, right? Um, <laughs> he's actually the king of rap DVDs. Okay? He, he was the first one to ever, ever put any of us on platforms of rap DVDs from Beanie Seagull oh, wow. to Beanie Crack to Oskino, like everybody. Like, he's he's the original. Um, Isn't and that crazy? He does uh, sports films, so he's been tapping in with a lot of the great coaches and legendary ball players from Philly. So he's a, he's a great guy. So shout out to you. That's awesome. So shout outs to you, Raw Sports Films. And shout out to everybody that has watched this. So I'm glad you guys was able to stay with me and watch this because I try to ask the questions <laughs> that I normally don't see being asked on like um, other vlogs or whatever. Things that I would think people would want to know about you. Um, so you do sweatshirts, you do sweat, you do sweatshirts, you do, um, you do running sets, you said you do Women, you do stuff for women. Um, what what other products do you do? You do hats. I do I do hats. I do scullies. I do jean jackets. I do bubble coats. I, if it's clothes, I do it. Okay. Yeah, I do socks. I do everything. Awesome. So I want to also ask you: Could you um, just tell people where they can find your music at, where they can find your son's music at, and? <laughs> Wait, I know this is a lot of information going in, but where they can find your music at and your son's music at, and then I'm going to ask you to talk to, um, tell us your address again and the name of your store. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> you can actually find my music streaming on all platforms under Killer Kel, K I L L A K E L. Um, you could go on YouTube and find all my visuals. Streaming under Killer Kel, same way. Um, awesome. You can find my son's music under FDR Spaz on all platforms. On YouTube, he has a ton of visuals you can find at FDR Spaz, same way. Um, the store is called Sydney Ham Street Boutique. Um, my clothing company is called Cosby Motor VC Couture Clothing. Um, we are located at 1520 West Ontario Street, right across the street from the elementary school, Kenderson. Um, you know, and and basically, you know, this is like the junction. Like, I, ha I have a few artists, like a lot of music artists, I allow them to bring merch and sell their merch in here. Like, Touch Money Now, nah, so Touch Money is a Philly uh, music group. They have stuff in here. Awesome. Kata from Touch Money, okay. he has stuff in here. OVH Goonie Gang has stuff in here. Um, it's a black female singer named Anda. All right. Um, she has oh, her wow. own boutique, which is called Black Doll's House. We allow her oh. to uh, bring some female stuff in here. You know what I mean? As a oh. flavor. Um, we have a Muslim girl named Erica. She has her clothing line called Fairs. You know, we allow oh. her to bring some stuff in here. I have another young fella named Gunner. He has his clothing line called Out the Way. You know what I mean? He got young yeah. Chris in a few videos and all that in his clothes. Like, you know what I'm saying? I allow him to come and work with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, this is, like, we created the boutique. Like, if you type in City Ham Street Boutique on Instagram, as well, I mean, on YouTube as well, there's a documentary. Mm -hmm. It says the City Ham Street 
boutique documentary. And it's me, my partner, and one of the other young fellas that work here on there talking about, like, you know what I mean, how we kind of created, like, a junction for black brands. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, we didn't, sure. we didn't really land a store for for selfish for like just for me to be able to promote my brand, right. like you know what i'm saying like yeah like i said i've worked with so many people and again certain doors weren't open for me so i would like to be the one to open certain doors for certain people like you know what i'm saying i i feel that i feel the same way that that people they have to they have to help in order for it to get strong for like the independent and and for black business owners and entrepreneurs and up and coming people, it does have to. We do have to stick together, and we do have to keep reiterating each other, sure. and using each other's stuff. But um, can I? I just want to ask you before I go. Can I see a little bit? Can I have a little shot of the booty shorts? Because uh, after I heard that, like I kind of was like, you know, I got a little excited. Okay, that's your shorts. I mean, you know, okay. we got we got we got the body suits on the mannequins. I like that. That's that's cute. How um, much is that? The body suit. Um, I think those are thirty five, if I'm not mistaken. See, we okay. got the short, short body suits, the dressers, the spaghetti straps. Um, I think those are those are cute. Awesome. You know, and they got the little leather dresses here, the little mm -hmm. ruffle shirts. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, it's some, she, she got some beautiful. You know what I mean, my sister, my sister got some beautiful pieces in here. Okay. You know what I'm like, 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 you know what I mean? Because, because me and my partner are are men for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why we work with so many female artists. You know what I'm saying? To allow them to bring the the woman flavor. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, because other than that, <laughs> other than that, it would it would kind of be a male based inventory though. Oh, okay. I was about to say I'm trying to squeeze up in the booty shorts. You know what I'm saying, you know. Okay. So, but still, it, it, <laughs> but still, you know, we actually have um, lingerie, all that in here. Oh, it's it's, it's, every, it's everything around. You got some diversity in there. I, I like yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? These are you know the biker shorts and the, mm -hmm. uh, two piece yoga sets and the sports bras and. Yeah, sweatsuits, uh, crop tops, and cut up jeans, and all that. Yeah, it's it's some it's some flavors in here for the ladies, though. Good. Okay. So okay, so, so I'm gonna hair. like. Oh, you got okay. I like that. I like that all their stuff, and I like that you have a huge, big variety. So I know the Instagram is gonna call, cut me off soon, but I just wanted to like thank you again for being able for me to reach, being able to be easy to talk to. I tell people, like, you know, I'm glad, like, I'm, a I'm able to message them and they're easy to talk to and not easy to work with. I mean, I appreciate you for having me because the one thing I always try to do is I try to pass out a few gems within the conversation because, you know what I'm saying, and I just pray that people store the data, like, when I give it to them, like, you know what I mean? Okay. So... Um, I don't know if you want to say anything before this goes off. It's going to go off in a minute. So if you want to go, you can say something real quick and then I'm going to. Okay. So I'm going to, so I know that this Instagram only lets you come on here for like 50 minutes or an hour. Okay. So if anybody wants to watch the full version of this interview, go to my page and look at it on IGTV. Okay. And then you just, so they can look at the full version of it. So I had a, a nice, I had a nice time um, interviewing you and Milani. So I liked that, and I'm hoping to see like her in your clothes. I'm hoping to be in your clothes. I'm hoping to see her in your clothes. I'm yeah. hoping to see everybody in it. Yeah, first chance you get, just uh, make sure you DM me. I'll send you my direct line, and you know, okay, we'll go from there. Okay, well, thank you for uh, participating with me, and thank you for your interview, and thank everybody for watching, and I hope everybody has a great night. Yep, thank you for having me. <laughs> Bye. All right.